I'm Sarah Uslin, celebrity makeup artist and Allure Insider, and I'm going to show you how you can do this bridal look yourself. I've prepped my skin and I gave myself a little extra love by exfoliating and using a really hydrating cream. I think it's really important, especially the day of your wedding, to give yourself that extra luxurious treatment and uh, it will help relax and allow you to be more calm when you're doing your makeup. So now that my skin's all prepped, I'm going to start with a primer. Today is all about longevity and you really want to make the makeup last. So primers and long wear products are going to be key to doing your bridal look. The first thing I'm using is Cover FX Anti-Aging Primer. Um, a primer is a great product to use because it helps to blur the fine lines and pores and it also helps to extend the wear of the makeup. So you really just want to apply a, a dab all over the face before the foundation. So a lot of brides talk to me and say, I have to get airbrushed because that's the only way to go and I've heard that's the only way to go on the day of the wedding. I challenge that and say, choose a foundation that's right for you. Now there are many great foundations on the, on the market. I personally love the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation because it's oil free and it just kind of evens out the skin tone and fills every little pore. It looks beautiful and I think it lasts a very long time so it would make it a great foundation for the wedding day. So I'm going to start in my T-zone and then build from there. This is a buildable foundation which is great because you could share it out in the places that you don't need as much coverage and then build it in the areas that you do. So for me, I usually need coverage down my T-zone and then I have redness in my cheeks so that's where I'll add a little bit more as well. Once the foundation is applied, I love a beauty blender. I'm sure you've seen these at Sephora. They're all over the place now and they're great because if you dampen them a little bit and kind of squeeze out all the extra water, that damp sponge picks up the excess foundation and then blends everything even better. So once my foundation's on, I take it and I just tap the sponge all over my face and it picks up the extra foundation and blends everything right into the skin. Concealer is a must. And today I'm using the Clay de Peau Concealer, which is a really popular concealer as well. Um, and that's because it, the, the texture of it is so flawless. It hydrates, but it also smooths. So you're getting not that dry, crepey effect. You're getting coverage, and it looks fantastic. Highlighting is um, pretty important because it just perfects the look and it gives it that kind of angelic quality. So using my Dior Skin Flash in 002, I'm going to highlight certain areas that I know will look beautiful in person and on camera and just capture the light. So the inner corner of the eye is one of them. The top of the lip, right in the bow of the lip. Right along the outside corner of the eye going down the cheekbone, not all the way down, but about a quarter of the way down. And so you can see the areas, the inner corners, the bow, and the outside of the cheekbones. And then using that same ring finger, you can blend it all. Now that all of my creams are on, so I have my foundation, my concealer, and my cream highlight, it's time to powder. And using the Cryolan Anti-Shine Powder, which is similar to an Asian rice powder, it's going to smooth everything out and allow everything to stay locked in all day. I'm using my London Brush Company brush in number 12 to apply the powder to my T-zone and then anywhere else where I might get a little oily throughout the night. My skin is even and now it's time for blush. And I always tell clients, especially brides, that on your wedding day or any day, the most complimentary blush color is gonna be a color that actually has a similar tone of your lips. So it helps to hold the blush up and choose something that's in the same family. This is Makeup Forever HD Blush in 210 and it's a cream to powder blush 
which has a great beautiful effect because you're getting the richness of a cream but a powdery effect so it lasts a long time. Longevity is key for a bridal look and that's why I highly recommend using a lip stain or something that's gonna last a lot longer on the lips and that's why I've chose Hourglass. The color is rose and it's just a beautiful complementary color to the cheek color and it's gonna last. If you ever make a mistake or go too heavy, you can take your finger and just blend it down. And the key is going with a shade that might be a little lighter than your real brow because you don't want it to look too heavy, especially with a pencil. So by going with a lighter shade, it just looks a little bit more natural. When you're picking an eyeshadow for your wedding day, you want to think of what's going to last all night. And I always recommend starting with a long wear cream shadow. I'm choosing Vicuna from Becca in the eye tint and this is kind of a genius product because it glides on and it starts as a cream but then kind of ends as a powder. So uh, it's great to apply first and then if you want to apply any other shadows on top of it, it grips and keeps them on all night as well. Now it's time to accent the eye and I discovered the Kevin Aquan Citrine. It's a loose shimmer powder and it has a rolly ball top so rather than applying it directly onto the eye and potentially putting too much product on I apply it to the back of my hand and then take my synthetic brush and tap it onto the inner corner of my eye and you can actually take it down to the bottom inner corner as well I'm accenting my crease color by using Makeup Forever eyeshadow in 305, which is this rosy, beautiful shade. And I'm taking my Bobbi Brown eyeshadow brush and applying the product, but tapping it off first. You wanna get off any excess eyeshadow so that it doesn't end up falling on your beautiful foundation. And I'm gonna apply it on the outside corner of my eye, going in. This particular bridal look is really soft and really fresh, so I'm going to keep my eyeliner very minimal for this and opt for an eyeliner pencil. This is Dolce & Gabbana's The Eyeliner Pencil in number two, which is this chocolatey shade with gold flecks in it. It's gorgeous. And my pencil isn't totally sharpened because I don't want a defined line. I want more of a kind of smudgy line just to emphasize the lash. I'm gonna apply this product starting in the outer corner. Because it's not a fine point, I'm really gonna mo mostly apply the product to the outside, right along the lash line, and then come in, but ever so slightly. And once it's on, I'll blend it inwards. The final step is curling my lashes and applying a waterproof mascara and I think waterproof is definitely the way to go for any lady out there that might shed a tear on the wedding day because I know that I will. This one's an oldie but a goodie. This is Great Lash by Maybelline in the waterproof. And that's it. It's a really simple, beautiful bridal look that you can do yourself. So have fun on your wedding day.